Good afternoon Year 4, this is your science lesson for Tuesday the 23rd of February. So in science this half term we are going to be looking at states of matter, okay, so that's solids, liquids or gases. So we'll learn about that all term and um, this is your introductory lesson for it, okay. So the key question for this afternoon is what makes something a solid, a liquid or a gas? So you're going to sort materials into solids, liquids or gases. You're going to describe the properties of a solid, liquid and gases and some of you will be explaining the behaviour of the particles in a solid, liquid or a gas. So, a material may be in one of three states, solid, a liquid or a gas. So your first task is to sort these pictures into solid, liquid and gas. Okay, so you need to pop them into there. Now, if you haven't been able to print them off or if you can't print them off, you could do something like what I've done. I've just done my little self chart and I was just going to write in here any solids, any liquids, and gases so that I don't have to print it off I can just write the words in there so now's your time to pause the video and work through that first task please okay so you should have had all of these items here down as solids okay have a little think about what they have in common so they keep their shape unless force is applied to them they can be cut, they can be squashed, and they can be twisted, but they will not change shape on their own. So you have to do something to manipulate them in order for them to change shape. Solid materials always take up the same amount of space. They do not spread out or flow, and they, they do not have to be hard. They can be squashy or soft. So here you can see there's a ball of wool. My other example I was going to give you was a sponge. A sponge is a solid, but you can squeeze it. It's soft and can be squashed. Okay, here are the liquids. Okay, so you should have had all of these down as liquids. So, materials in a liquid take the shape of a container they are in. So, a liquid can change shape, they do not change their volume. So, if we poured this glass of water into a bowl, it might change shape, but it's not going to change the amount of water that there that there's there. Okay, this means that they still take up the same amount of space. Liquid are pulled down to the bottom of the container by gravity and they can flow or be pulled. And then finally, these items are all gases. So this was oxygen, if you remember, and the steam coming from the kettle. Materials in gaseous state can spread out to completely fill the container or room they are in. Gases have weight, they can be squashed and they do not keep their shape. Okay. So, can you match the properties with the correct state? So we have solid, liquid and gases. So these are not in the correct place at the moment. Okay, so have a little think. Which one was going to spread out to fill a space? Which one takes the shape of the container it is in? Which one keeps its shape? Which one can be poured? Which one can be cut, squashed or torn? Which one does not have any fixed shape? So give yourself a minute and have a, have a little think about which one's which. Okay, did you get them correct? I hope you did. Right, next one. So, the particles. So, solids, liquids and gases have different particles, okay? Scientists have found that they're tiny materials made of very tiny particles. And these particles are so small that we cannot see them with our eyes or even with a microscope. So, the position and behaviour of the particles is different in solids, liquids and gases. Now, if you click, if you're watching the power, if you go on the PowerPoint, you can click to watch a video or I've added the links to your teams. So this is BBC link one and it will take you to this video here. It says the behavior of particles and solids, liquids and gases. And you can press play and watch that little video. I'm not going to do that with you now. The link is there on teams if you want to have a little watch of the video or you can pop the PowerPoint on and it'll also take you to that video. Okay. So, here are the different types of particles. All right, so these ones are squashed together and haven't really got a lot of space to move, so they're not going to really change shape very much. There's not as many particles here, so they can move around a little bit more. And here, there are only three, so they can bounce and move quite a lot. So, have a little think. Which one do you think is a solid? Which one do you think is a liquid and which one do you think is a gas? Okay, so this one is a solid. 
okay, because they don't change shape unless they are squeezed and manipulated. This one is a liquid, remember, because the quantity stays the same, and it, but it can change shape. And this one is a gas. Okay, so the, um, is, this is your second task, which is um, on teams for you. There is a task for the red group. And there is a task for the green group. Remember, red group are the children who do not access Reading Plus in school and the green group are the children who do access Reading Plus in school. So make sure you're doing the correct task, boys and girls. Okay, so in here you have to um, put the solid, liquid and gases in the correct place on your sheet. Okay, and um, then there's another little video for you to watch. So this is BBC clip two, which I've saved on Teams for you. Or again, you can pop the PowerPoint on and you can click. Oh, sorry about that. You can click this play button here, which should, I'll just press play so you can see it. It should take you to this video about solids, liquids and gases. So you can press play and you can watch that video and you can make a list of all of the solids, liquids and gases that you can spot. Okay, I look forward to seeing your work, boys and girls. Well done.